Welcome to the Expedition Log Analysis Feature Module 7 video. In this video, we will go over the details on the remaining steps for App ID adoption feature, which includes retrieve App IDs, split known and unknown rules, clone the existing rule, App ID reconciliation. The first step is retrieving App IDs. Begin by logging to the Expedition GUI, navigate to Policies. Select the panorama configuration you want to work on. Select the device group. In this case, we select DG1. Highlight the security policy you want to enable for App ID adoption. Select App ID adoption. Uh, you could either select Retrieve App Fast or Retrieve App Slow. The slow method will take a longer time to process, but it will provide detailed traffic size on the app ID. Uh, in the environment, if you have a lot of traffic logs, I would suggest you go with the fast mode. When process has been completed, you will see all the app IDs have been retrieved from the log. Second step is to split known unknown rules. When discover app ID contains unknown TCP or unknown UDP, it is best to split them to a different rule to further analyze the traffic logs later. To split a known rule from unknown rule, right-click on the rules, select app ID adoption, split rules known unknown. After you perform the step, you will see the original security policy got split into two rules. Original rule will contain known app IDs in the app ID via log field. Expedition clone another rule on top of the original rule and add a prefix unk- to the original rule name. The example here, the original rule name is allow all out. The unk- allow all out contains the unknown TCP and unknown UDP. The third step is cloning the original rule. Right-click on the rule that has discovered apps. Select Rule Actions, Clone Selected Rule below. This action will clone the existing rule and put it under the original rule with prefix CL- The example here, the original rule name is Allow All Out. The new clone rule will be named CL- Allow All Out. This is identical to the original service port base rule. The purpose of this step is to keep the original rule in the bottom of the App ID base rule. The final step is App ID reconciliation. We will highlight the original security policy. Right-click to select App ID adoption, App ID reconciliation, applications, selection. This step is to add the App ID that's in the App ID via log field to the application field of the rule. So it is converting the existing service port based rule to app ID based rule. You have three options in the process. First option, application. The application field will be replaced with the exact app IDs seen in the app ID via log field. Second option, recommended application. The application field will be replaced with recommended app IDs. For instance, if the app ID seen in the traffic log is Slack base, the recommended app ID will be Slack, which is a parent app ID that covers Slack base and other app IDs under the same parent. Third option, recommended application and dependencies. The application field will be replaced with recommended app IDs and its dependencies. For example, if Gmail chat is seen in the app ID via log field, and it will add its parent application Gmail, also the dependencies Google base to the rule as well. You can find app ID dependency by looking up the application database in the PanelOS device. After the step is performed, you will see the original service port base rule became an app ID base rule as shown here. And the app IDs shown in app ID via log field will move to application field of the rule. The insufficient data won't be moved to application field. This is seen when the firewall does not have enough packets to determine the app ID. You have completed this module. Please move on to the final module, module 10, 
push modify security policy back to panelist devices. Thank you for watching.